Hello and welcome to the Safi Learning Center. This short tutorial will show you how to run a buckling analysis. Here we have an example of a pedestrian bridge. If the bridge is visualized in a side view, we can notice that the top cord is not supported. We will set an isometric view and we will set the members in a solid view. For a bridge of this kind, there is a potential for instability because the upper cord in compression is not retained laterally. SAFI includes various types of analysis. For example, if you perform linear analysis or moving load analysis for this bridge with only vertical loads, you cannot capture the possible lateral instabilities at the time of analysis. However, when verifying the limit states using the steel module, you can specify an unbraced compression length for the top cords in the steel tab of members. In a model such as this one, it is the user responsibility to specify the effective length for buckling and compression. Since there is no traditional support at the top cord on the entire structure, it is possible to specify an effective length equal to the total length of the bridge. However, this will be far too conservative since there are other elements along the bridge that will partially laterally retain the upper cord. For example, if we hide part of the structure, we can isolate one rigid frame along the bridge. The flexural rigidity of the frame can also provide some lateral support for the upper cord to prevent it from buckling laterally. The level of efficiency of this type of lateral support is not always easy to calculate. In this situation, we can perform a type of analysis that is called buckling analysis, where we get the critical load associated to the elastic buckling of the structure. In this example, the buckling analysis is carried out on the first load combination having only vertical loads. We can run the analysis. We can see the deflection of the structure. Since the charges were vertical, the deformation of the structure can be visualized before buckling. This deformed shape matches the charge level of the selected combination. However, the object of the buckling analysis is to determine whether there will be compressing instability for a portion or all of the structure. These results are available in the frequency section of the results toolbar. It may be noted that the first mode corresponds to an elastic buckling load level corresponding to 1.6 times the current load level. That is to say that with the current level of load, the elastic buckling load was not yet reached. If I were to increase the current load level, I'll get the first mode of elastic buckling of the structure. You can see it more explicitly when viewing from the side view. It may be noted that the instability and compression of the upper cord will create a total lateral collapse of the entire structure. This type of analysis cannot be sufficient to determine a structural safety factor because this type of analysis only verifies the elastic buckling of the structure. In reality, there is a possibility of yielding of members before this level of load is reached. Therefore, this type of analysis is a complement to other types of analysis to determine if there is a possibility of instability of the entire structure. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit our website at www.safi.com.